Welcome to the Sports Arena, your front row ticket to the best in sports talk and entertainment. Great analysis, top name guests, and news you can use from the sports landscape. So take your seats, sit back, and relax. As you, you are, are now in the Sports, sports Arena. Arena. You know what you're capable of. I like this kind of fire. Fix it. And here's your host, Eric Wilson. I'm like, all right, let's go. I get, we get lost. I'm like, I need a minute. Collect <laughs> myself. What's going on, everybody? Your man, Eric Wilson, here at the Sports Arena. And uh, I just want to take a moment, first and foremost, before I get started, and say thank you to all the love and support that I've been receiving over the last couple of weeks. It's been great. It's very humbling. And I really appreciate it. But with that being said, let's get down to business. So as you know, one of the gentlemen that I work with goes by Super Journalist 87, Mr. Fago White Franklin III, has given me the honor to introduce the world to a young man who is a 2020 NBA draft prospect. He is actually from Creating Young Minds Academy. This is Mr. Mike Lenore. Mike, welcome into the sports arena, sir. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Oh, please. No, the honor is mine, sir. So you, in fact, are a 2020 NBA draft prospect. And if you would do me a favor and just tell the world a little bit about yourself, where you're from and just how basketball came into your life. Um, I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And um, I remember a long time ago, I was outside dribbling the ball. My dad came outside. He seen me dribbling and he knew from then on out. It was in the blood, so we ran with it, and we just worked day in and day out to get to where I'm at today. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yes, and your father, actually, correct me if I'm wrong, sir, um, did he have some time in the NBA? No, nah, he didn't, but he was really good where he was from. He uh, was going to a lot of – he he worked out one time with uh, the Duke basketball team. He met Coach K. He used to go all the type of different camps, all those good camps and stuff like that. So he was really good. Nice. So, uh, you know, given everything that's been going on this season, Mike, and, and you being a young athlete that you are, sir. Well, first, let me ask this position, this question. What positions do you play? I play point guard. OK, so you the man setting the tone, you the facilitator, you the guy who's making sure that people need to be where they be to get them shots. But if you have to, you're going to be the guy to take them shots. Yes, sir. <laughs> OK. All right. I feel you. So whose game? do you kind of align yourself with like some of the people that are in the NBA today or past NBA Hall of Famers or greats? Um, back in the day, Isaiah Thomas from Detroit Pistons, Prime uh -huh. Eric Rose with the Bulls, uh, and Chris Paul. And I, I watch uh, Allen Iverson too. Oh, that's, my, that's, my, that's my dude. I'm from Philly, so AI has always been my guy. So, you know, anybody who can, who can kind of mimic and, and kind of pay homage to AI, you know, they got my respect off top. Yeah. Talking with Miss uh, like Mike Lenore here on the Sports Arena. So, Mike, let me ask you, like I was going to say, with 2020 being what it is and, and COVID playing such a huge factor into athletes such as yourself who are trying to get to that next level, what things have you had to change to prepare yourself for this moment? Um, I would have to say, most importantly, I had to change my mentality, knowing uh, what I'd be up against, COVID and certain workouts I wouldn't be able to go to and certain combines that made me have to stay mentally tough and know I have to work extra hard and try to outwork everybody. So that's been the main thing for me, is just being very mentally tough. So take me through an average day for you right now, because we do see that that COVID has kind of opened, you know, it's kind of been contained, if you will. So doors are opening up for athletes to kind of get to those conferences and, and get to those workouts and tryouts and be seen in front of scouts. Take me through an average day for you. Um, I'll get up, eat some breakfast. After that, head to the gym. We'll work out. We'll do uh, basketball first and a lot of strength, strength and conditioning. And after that, we'll go to the gym and lift weights. So make sure my body's strong and everything is sharp, stays in place. And then after that, I'll go to cryotherapy and then get some rest and drink protein shakes too also so I can keep my weight. Talk to me about that cryotherapy because it's something that has been on the up and coming and I've seen it myself. I'm actually interested in, in experimenting with it. Tell me, what does that do for your body? Um, 
Cryotherapy, it does everything for my body, actually, from the, the normal tech to the cryo spot to getting in the chamber. It actually refreshes your body. But the main thing is you drink a lot of water afterwards and you uh, you sleep good. It has your body feeling refreshed and it just makes you feel like a, a whole nother person when you hop out. And about how many times, you know, a week or a month do you do cryotherapy? Um, really, I go every week, maybe three times a week. Yes, sir. Wow. OK. And, Every time I work out, that's dedication right there. All right. So, Mike, I got to ask you, let's say it's draft night right now. OK. And you're projected to be one of the names called. Now, you can't pick which team you can go to. But mm -hmm. if you had the choice, which team would you want to be calling your name when it's their turn? Uh, I heard that question before. Uh, I, don't, I really I'm not a, a pick or choosy guy. So I feel like. Any team that call my name, I'll be able to contribute because I'm a leader, I'm a facilitator, I'm a playmaker. So, And I feel like that's what the NBA is, playmaking and putting everybody in their spots. But if I had to pick a team, I would say uh, I like Miami, good hard-nosed basketball. And I feel like that's what they was missing in the playoffs last year, a point guard. And that's what the Lakers had. They had Rondo. All right. So you feel that if you were in that situation, you could match up with Rondo, knowing that you have Jimmy Buckets, knowing that you got Tyler Hero and Bam out of Bayou as your backup? Yeah, I know for sure. Jimmy wouldn't have to play as hard as he did. I relieve a lot of stress off of him. Tyler Hero would get more shots. So that means to me, he'll make more shots. So I feel like and if you notice when they was playing Jimmy Butler, he was bringing the ball up majority of the time. He right. really had to do everything. Then you have to go back on the other end and go all LeBron James. So. That's a hard task. So I feel like I could have relieved a lot of stress. Hey, Mike, I wish you the best, brother. Thank you so much for being on here on the Sports Arena. Do me a favor. Take 30 seconds really quick. The floor is yours. Let people know how they can follow you. And let's get behind this, brother, and support him as he continues his journey. Um, My my Instagram, you can go follow me at King Mike, but it's spelled K-V-N-G dot M-I-I-K-E. Twitter, same thing, except the dot. Um, make sure y'all go follow my team, CYM, uh, Louisville Leopards. They have a great program, great organization going on, and that's how y'all can keep up with me and stay in touch. Mike, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you so much. Best of luck to you. I'm going to be watching draft night, see if they call your name. Any team you go to, hey, they, gonna be, they should be ecstatic to have a young product like yourself. I look forward to the evolution of your journey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it.